All right, so now we're going to make what I call halishki. And I've taken my cabbage, about two cups of my cabbage, and I put it in three cups of boiling water. And I'm just kind of letting it stew while I get everything else done. I have a whole large onion cut up. I have a stick of butter in the frying pan. My water is boiling. And it doesn't matter if your pasta is done first. Don't worry about it. And I'm using egg noodles. Because I like the way everything sticks to the egg noodles. So four to six quarts of water. And boil for seven to eight minutes. I'm doing the whole bag because I love leftovers for lunch. Alright. So you're going to let that boil for eight minutes. And now, as this butter melts, and it might not melt really good because I'm in the wrong burner, I'm going to go ahead and saute up my onions. Now, you want to do them in quarter because they just hold the sauces so much better. And so, I'm going to get these in there. And this is my homegrown onion. It was a nice big one. And when I say big, let me show you. This is the size of onion I used. Okay? Be generous. Now, my family loves garlic. So, I'm going to put some garlic in here. Uh, my daughter will come running when she smells it. You could normally add salt here. We have someone who has high blood pressure, so we're just going to add our pepper. Then we need some paprika. And I would say, oh, two teaspoons of paprika. I like the paprika on it. You're also going to need some soy sauce. We're using low sodium soy sauce. So I'll have that ready. And I'm just going to saute this up. Now, I don't want to brown them. <clears throat> I just want to soften them. Once you get your onions soft, and they smell wonderful, you want to pour in however much soy sauce you think you need for your noodles. And turn your temp down. And remember, some of it's going to soak in and evaporate, and you can always add more. Probably, oh, I don't know, maybe a third a cup. I'm very generous. Be forewarned, I am feeding, okay, I'm not feeding an army, but I'm making enough to feed an army because I don't know how to cook in small batches. So... This two cups of cabbage turned into four cups of cabbage. So remember that. So you might want to do one cup of cabbage with half a bag of noodles. And I'm just bringing it back up to temp. So I let this sit for 30 minutes, the uh, cabbage in boiling water to rehydrate. And it really tastes pretty good. It needs to be cooked some. Tastes like cabbage I just cut from the backyard. Okay, so once it's really hot and you see the steam coming up, you want to pour in your cabbage. Because remember, it's still got to cook. Because dehydrating and, and blanching is not cooking it. And then you want to put your lid on. Let the steam start and the moisture on the top and then turn your temperature down and cook it for about 15 minutes on medium to medium low heat. Right, once you get your cabbage to the tenders as you want, add your noodles and uh, stir it up. Mm -mm, good. And you're ready to serve. So let's serve some up. Doesn't that look wonderful?
Take a bite. Mmm. Perfect. Blessings.